So the furry fandom has a bit of a problem. And honestly, it's not even exclusive to the furry fandom. AI art, and I'm going to be saying art in huge parentheses here, because let's be honest, it's not art. However you want to define it, typing in a sentence into a generator that just gives you a random image is not creative whatsoever. But for the sake of this video, we'll just go with that. But yeah, there's been so much just trash happening everywhere. Recently, one of the biggest, if not the biggest drawing tablet companies, Wacom or Wacom? How do you even pronounce that name? Wacom. 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 By Wacom. Wacom tablet. You probably know Wacom as the industry leader in pen tablet and pen display hardware. They tweeted out a promotion literally featuring AIR on the front, which is absolutely wild. Again, their entire business model is based off of artists, so I don't know why they thought it was a genius idea to tweet some non-artist imagery. Somebody's gotta be getting fired for that. You can see how bad it is too, like the tail doesn't even come out of anywhere. It's like from his foot? Maybe it's supposed to wrap around, but again, there's no way a tail would do that. It's also absolutely hilarious that they didn't even bother to correctly remove the white background. You can see it between the tail. But of course, they then went on to completely delete the tweet. It is gone, banned to the shadow realm. But yeah, with all of this stuff coming up, it made me want to talk about something else I discovered recently, which is like scams on Etsy that use AI art to sell to furries. And this is actually a super common thing over there. And to be specific, when I say scam, I'm using the dictionary definition, which is basically a dishonest scheme, which I think encompasses these things pretty well because they often don't disclose that it's AI or they like hide it in the description. Either way, let's get into it. And speaking of which, if you appreciate real art, leave a like on the video and also be sure to leave a comment. But yeah, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Just dive straight head first into the fire that is this AI trash. So one of the places that I spot a lot of AI scammers, and when I say like AI scammers, I'm mainly talking about people that don't explicitly say that their art or commissions are AI. They pretty much want you to think that it's real art that an artist took time to paint, but then it's, you know, generated by a robot that essentially steals a bunch of elements from other people's art. Now I was just searching through Etsy the other day and I stumbled upon this talented artist. Again, artist with humongous quotation marks. Robo Render. Huh. I wonder if there's any red flags there. Bro is like trying to hide it, but then has a name like that. So I stumbled upon this person's listings and you just scroll through and it has all the telltale signs of it being AI. I mean, one, the person just has an insane amount of art with pieces that appear to be highly detailed. Like these would take hours and hours to draw. But again, I'm 99% sure he's not drawing them. I mean, look at this crap. Where's your foot connected to, buddy? You're just levitating off the ground? What is wrong with your shoelaces? It's just, it's just a joke giant mass of shoelace or like what what is this i don't think i've ever seen a furry artist draw an earring around the fluff that comes out of their ear oh my gosh <laughs> this is horrible no way where's that tail coming from bro <laughs> It's so bad. And some of these I don't even know if I can show you because it's kind of just showing bare booty. <laughs> but some of them are just straight up have tails not coming out of anywhere. But that is so blatantly bad. No artist in the world, no serious artist would make that mistake. So again, it's clearly AI generated because there's no way anyone would be able to create this much art and this many varying styles too. Like there's Toonie style with three different views. Also the tail is completely hidden behind. I've never seen a single artist do that because it's a ref sheet. You'd want to see the tail. They'll just move it over a little bit to the right and make the image larger. But no, not this guy. Also, what are these things on the back of his heels? <laughs> What is this? What is this random circular thing that juts out? And then this goes downwards and then this one's completely different? His left shoe on this piece is completely missing it. Also, where's his tail in this part? Is that his tail? It's so trash, bro. Why has he got like an apple stem coming out of the top of his head in this one, but it's gone in the others? But yeah, you've got Toonie, you've got this like more highly detailed rendered type style. But again, you gotta look closely at the details. What is this thing that's coming off of the pants? Why is there just a hole in the pocket over here? And I mean, as a clothing designer, why is there like a pocket underneath another pocket? Why is her tail going straight through the belt? And then for some reason, they completely remade the pose but kept the head but added completely different clothes no artist would do that oh wait a second oh i didn't even see this what's that say buddy <laughs> 
What kind of language is that? Bugs with a giant mash of just garbage on it. Wow, crazy. Huh, I've never seen that company name before. And like, look at the price this dude is charging. $410. Bundle of exclusive furry adopt. Nail mega pack. Three times reference sheets. Three outfit variations. Only one will ever be sold. And nowhere, nowhere inside of here does he disclose that it's AI generated. He also conveniently adds that it can be upscaled further upon request, which, you know, in and of itself, I don't really think AI upscaling is that bad because it's just based off of pretty much averaging pixel values, I think. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's still something that an AI bro would be more than happy to do. But again, no disclosure that it's AI generated, nowhere. And I know what your next question is. Are people actually buying these images? Well, sadly, yeah, they are. And a lot of them are. Let's take a look at the reviews here. And this is just honestly super sad because you can tell by the reviews that people are thinking they're getting original art when they just aren't. Like, let's look at this review right here. OMG, I love how it turned out. They even went above and beyond giving him the cowboy vibes I wanted. I definitely recommend getting from the shop. The artwork is amazing. And again, the artwork when it's really not art. It is a prompt put into a machine that spits out an image. I, that's what I call it. It's an image. It's nothing more. And this is what the person got. Again, clearly AI cannot even comprehend what this is supposed to be on the belt. And I wish I could see how much this person paid because they essentially wasted their money. I guess I can't say what their opinion on it is. In my opinion, they wasted their money. But let's keep going here. Ooh, ooh, okay. This is going to be super interesting because this person does mention AI. This is really cool and the quality was really good, although I was a little unsure once I found out they used some AI. My honest review, still good quality. I guess the art doesn't really feel handmade all the way. It's 50-50. Again, I don't think any of it is handmade. That's just my opinion. I really doubt that they're brushing this stuff up. I guess I can't confirm 100% yes or no. So I'll put that disclaimer out there, all allegedly. But they go on to say the photo looks good, but there are things that make it feel like it has a lot of AI elements. Oh, oh, come on. AI is good? Nah, it's, it's garbage. What are you talking about? Anyways, they go on to say that it's a subject that has a lot of mixed opinions. And the person's response is, thank you so much for the review. In Indeed, AI use is always a very hot and debated topic. Some like it, some don't, and we're happy to see how we use it simply as a tool. Handcrafting it as well with our brushes ourselves. Again, I'd love to see proof that they actually touch up any of this stuff. Not that it matters, it's still the basis on what many people would consider stolen assets, considering that AI models are trained on other people's art, which in and of itself I think is morally bankrupt. Like who cares if you're using a brush to add a little bit of detail here and there when the base image is just what a machine crapped out. And like, again, I see nowhere that there would be brushed over stuff here. <laughs> it's hilarious. This is what you're happy about, dude. You got a persona that has his hair melted together with his hood. Literally just melted together. Like, come on. I don't know. These people frustrate me too because they support this crap. You could be spending that money to pay an actual artist to put in hand-drawn stuff and instead you get an image that's completely soulless, and in my eyes, it's worthless. But yeah, there's 417 reviews. I think this shop has like, what, 1K sales? Yeah, 1,059 sales, which is just so sad. And yeah, they admit in their reviews that they use AI, but nothing says it's AI generated, which to me is incredibly misleading. Also, what are the chances this description is AI generated? Get ready to bring your unique persona to life with our incredible service. We offer a seamless experience that allows you to obtain affordable, high quality character ref sheets and detailed avatars. I don't know, comment what you guys think, because again, I see reviews like this too. The artists who worked on my custom character didn't do a wonderful job. Job. I mean, that's kind of correct. They didn't do a wonderful job. They basically didn't do anything. They're not what I would consider artists, and it's not what I would consider artwork. The artwork looks spectacular and incredibly clean, and they were incredibly professional and polite to work with. Thank you so much. The gold and red and silver concept gave us a lot of pleasure doing. It was a great design. Again, they're barely doing anything. Oh, no. No, buddy. Oh my gosh. It says this was sold. Does that mean some... I'm assuming that means somebody bought it, but I guess they could have unlisted it or marked it as sold out. So I don't know 100%. And speaking of the price, apparently this item sold out for $146.71. Where they got that specific number, I have no idea. But I love how, one, he doesn't have a tail, which I guess sometimes people do on ref sheets, but I would more than assume that was just a glitch. Also, I love how his foot is broken. But what's also super sad about this is these people are pushing out real artists. Like again, we search furry adopt on here. 
The first results are ads, with the first of which being this right here, the one we just looked at. But then you've got this AI stuff mixed in with actual artists, talented artists too. Like, yeah, it might be a base fill, but somebody put thought and effort into the design, which instantly makes it way more valuable than any robotic generated character, and it's only $6.25. Whereas this clown is charging $101 for something that probably took like five minutes, if that. I don't know, I just hate that these people are seeping into the furry community, because the community was built off art, it was built off of creative people, people that just loved creating things for the sake of creating stuff. But then you've got all these trash people coming into it trying to make a buck off of furries by essentially, again, what a lot of people consider just stealing our art. And also, if you question if AI steals art, let me remind you real quick. Check out this post, Mid-Journey Developers Caught Discussing Laundering and Creating a Database of Artists Who Have Been Dehumanized to Styles to Train Mid-Journey Off Of. This has been submitted into evidence for the lawsuit. Prompt engineers, your skills are not yours. And again, just like he says, these images showcase tons of artists whose work have just been fed into this machine so it can replicate their styles. I don't know, it's just so sad. But yeah, you scroll through here and we see a lot of talented art and then you get garbage, just thrown in your face. Gotcha, surprise, mystery gotcha surprise furry by Magical Adopts. Basically what I'm saying is there's zero consistency in any of the style. Like what in the world is this? <laughs> Airbrushed art next to anime toonie art, kimono type. That pop head makes no sense. Also that pause really weird have no clue what is going on with this picnic box. <laughs> How about this one that somebody bought? I love the design of the work. Yeah, buddy, your work makes no sense. What are all these lines? The chain, it, what? <laughs> That's not what a chain is supposed to look like. Also just doesn't even really connect to anything. I think his arm's gone over here. Why, why is this side slightly different than the left side? If it's supposed to be just a different mouth. Okay, I guess this person does admit that it's AI assisted. I love that. I would love to see their full process if they are actually drawing the adopts, starting them in Procreate, and then adding Mid Journey, which again, as we just read, farms artists. We love to see it. Hmm. Like, can we just get this garbage out of our community? Like, it just makes me so mad. They're just trying, all they see us as is dollar signs. Anybody who uses AI is only doing it to either save money or make money. They're not doing it because they like art, because it's not art. Anybody who says otherwise, I guarantee is a liar. Or just stupid, one of the two. Now in the case of like furry adoptables that are generated by AI too, it brings up the question that if these characters could even be yours if you purchase them. Now I'll say right off the bat, I'm not a lawyer. I don't understand the laws around this. Also things are changing quite a bit. So again, I'm not an expert on it. Don't trust what I say on it. Do your own research. But we can look at a couple of articles. They said two weeks ago, the US Copyright Office refused to register a copyright for an AI generated image that got widespread media attention last year after it won an art competition. But they go on to say it's at least the third time the Copyright Office has ruled that AI-generated art cannot be copyrighted. As makes sense. One, it's created based off of tons of other artists' work. Two, a person isn't even creating it. But yeah, they go on to say the Copyright Office rejected the application because copyright protection is only available for works created by human beings. Or let's take a look at another article here, the art newspaper. One thing they talk about is this, I think it was like a comic book created by some people. Or okay, we'll just see here. Detail from the cover of the comic book, Zeraya of the Dawn, used the AI powered text image generator Mid Journey to create the illustrations. She was granted copyright in the book, but not its AI generated images. Which if we scroll down even further, the copyright office granted copyright to the book as a whole, but not the individual images in the book, claiming that these images were not sufficiently produced by the artist. So going back to the term of furry adopts, that begs the question, does the person that bought the adopt even own it? Again, I have no idea about the legality of any of that, but it's another complicated cog in the machine and why I would just avoid it at all costs. Why even bother? Nothing good really comes from this besides laziness. On top of that, it's been shown quite a few times that what something like Mid Journey creates can include copywritten work. It can still generate stuff like these images right here, which are clearly Darth Vader and copyrighted by Disney. But again, like this person Rawl says, Mid Journey is recreating unlicensed IP and 
mess and sometimes nearly verbatim from even non-specific prompts whilst profiting from subscriptions. Midjourney users don't have to sell the images for copyright infringement to have potentially occurred. Midjourney already profits from its creation. And then again, shows an image, black armor with light sword, movie screen cap, yada yada, and it shows, what is that, the Mandalorian and also clearly Darth Vader with a lightsaber. So who's to say any of these AI creations aren't just taking characters from other people? Again, yet another question that probably should be answered. Either way, with all of that being said, this community is built on art and there's so many talented people. But I think if we're aware of all of that and we just continue to support real artists in this fandom, you know, maybe we can create like a safe space that is just fully away from all of that heartless garbage, as I would call it. But yeah, speaking of artists and stuff, everything over on my clothing shop is created by artists, created by me, or I work with artists to create the designs. Like for example, we've got the Loaf Cat plush which the first round sold out, which I was so happy about. You guys are awesome. But I'm working on getting some more, so if you want to pre-order that, you can. We've also got the Full Moon t-shirt, which has some incredible art on it. Worked with an amazing artist called Fair Wilder, I believe that's how they pronounce their at, to create that beautiful werewolf. Or maybe you want the beautiful reversible sweater. This is probably my favorite design. And again, it's reversible, so you can flip it inside out and wear the white side as well. And again, if your size is out of stock, you can pre-order it down here. We've got even more of those on the way. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's been something I wanted to talk about for a while. There's probably even more I could talk about, so maybe we'll make a part two. Either way, I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing night.